Last episode, we decided to return to Lumbridge after six long years. It's been a long time, but I've enjoyed every minute of it. We completed a couple of quests that got us on our way, get a few quest points, get some XP up, got some amazing loot, some of the best in the game probably, and set some goals for ourselves. Move out west, complete some member stuff, see if we can get some of those member levels up. So today, let's see how far we can take that. All right, so I know I'm going to have to head west. So this time I realized I needed to run through White Wolf Mountain because obviously I'm not willing to pay the 1,200 GP just to take a, a ferry from Port Serum to Port Cazard. So uh, let's see how this is going to go for us today. All right, you know what? That wasn't... As bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to be really low on health. I guess the armor really does help a lot, but I uh, only lost 5, five HP. You know, well, I'll take it for now. Now, what I've gone ahead and done is head straight to Ardoin, because I think that's the best opportunity for us to get some easy teleport to the western portion of the map by getting the Ardoin Cloak 1. It's going to let us travel here unlimited amount of times, so that way we don't have to cross White Wolf Mountain or have to worry about... Uh, using Port Serum as a transportation system. So, going down the wiki's list, first off, we just have to teleport to the Essence Mines. Pretty straightforward. Next up, we need to steal a cake from the baker's stall. Um, shouldn't be too hard. I figure it'll be, you know... Oh, there we go. Awesome. All right, uh, the next one is selling silk back to the silk merchant, but I need 20 for that, so I'm just going to train here for a little bit till I hit 20. And there is 20 thieving level. That will let me steal from the silk stall. So once we get some silk, I will go sell it back to that merchant. Uh, by the way, if anyone wants any bread or cake, there's like a ton of here on the floor. Just come get it. World 301. Got some silk. Uh, Got to wait 10 minutes before I can sell it back to him. So I'm just going to go ahead and knock off a couple of the things on the list. And then we'll come back to the silk stall um, in just a few minutes. Got to pray at the altar in East Ardoin. Probably the easiest one to get taken care of. Next up is the fishing trawler. Found out all I need to do is literally start the minigame. And then it gives me the achievement. See? It's perfect. Uh, so I'm just going to let this thing crash itself, and then I'll head back, and then hopefully we'll be able to sell the silk. I think it's I think it's been 10 minutes. Uh, we'll, we'll find out. Okay, uh, apparently I need to sell it for 60 gold specifically, so went ahead and did that. Um, kind of weird and specific, but oh well. So next on the list is actually entering the combat training camp, but I can't do that until I complete the biohazard quest. But then I can't complete the biohazard quest until I complete Plague City. So I'm going to have to um, take care of some other stuff first. I'll come back to biohazard um, once it makes more sense. And then I'll try to make that my last thing uh, for the easy diary. Need to check out Alex Hunter Emporium, which is another easy but very specific one. So uh, on to the next. Just finishing up a beekeeper special event. Um, figured I may as well. Oh, oh, got some... Beekeeper leggings. God, this this account just gets sexier by the day, am I right? Went ahead and got two rusty swords from some ham members. I uh, figured I'd get two just in case there's a small chance, a 1 in 96 chance, that these swords that I give to Tyndall won't be good enough. Or they turn out to be nothing. First one turned out to be an iron uh, sword. That's pretty good. And the next one is... Uh, another longsword. Sweet. Uh, well, there's the easy task done, and coincidentally, uh, a weapon upgrade for me. Decided to go to Gnome Stronghold to get some dwell berries, and figured while I'm here, I may as well uh, get a couple laps in, try to get my agility, agility level up, excuse me, uh, so that I can uh, more efficiently run, and then hopefully get some more marks of grace here in the future. I don't see any um, immediate quests that I'm going to do that'll get me, um, a, you know, a really good amount of uh, agility experience. But uh, this will do for now. There is two agility. Three agility. Four agility. Level five agility. Level six. 
7 agility, 8 agility, 9 agility, and there is agility level 10. All right, got that out of the way. I can do the Draenor Village rooftop course. That'll be good for some marks of grace at first. And uh, now time to go back and get Plague City taken care of so we can go and do the biohazard quest and get our Ardoin Cloak 1. Uh, to anyone who says that this game doesn't have any sex appeal, I would encourage you to refer them to this moment in time. Sexy. Out of the sewers and into the limelight. There is Plague City completed. Got a ton of mining XP and an Ardoin teleport scroll. Uh, that'll be useful never since we got the uh, cape coming up. And level 15 mining. That's great. Get some iron. That'll be good for Doric's quest as well. Uh, on to Biohazard. Made the decision to go to Varrock Museum while I'm um, trying to complete Biohazard quest. I figure I'll get uh, a little bit of Hunter and Slayer XP. I think it's about a thousand each just to take these quizzes real quick and then talk to uh, Orlando. And then after that, we'll get right back to Biohazard so we can get our Cloak 1. All right, finished up all of those quizzes. That was uh, faster than I thought it would be. But I, you're not going to see me complain. There we go. 1,000 Hunter and Slayer XP. Got level 9 in both. So that's a, that's a good head start for now. It'll definitely get me a little bit better XP, um, especially in Hunter, and then I can catch the Copper Longtail. So not a, not a bad start to uh, the Hunter and Slayer grind. Sweet. That was a... Uh, a little bit of a longer quest to complete for me, since I don't have any teleports, but there is the biohazard quest. Uh, got that combat training camp access, which is perfect, because it's the last thing I need to do before I uh, get the Ardoin cloak. So, good start there. And I believe, yep, thieving level is 22 now. Uh, don't see stealing from wine stalls anytime soon, but let's head over to the combat training camp and then... Uh, Take a step in there and then get myself the cloak one. One step in, one step out. Which means we have successfully completed everything for the Ardoin task. I can head over to two pints uh, and get my cape number one. Okay, let's talk to this drunken woman. Two pints, give me my quest cape. Quest cape? Ardoin cape. I'm 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 out of it. Give me a break. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. It does provide a uh, little prayer bonus, but the beautiful thing is, I can teleport to the monastery anytime I want, as much as I want. That is going to be such a huge help for me going back and forth between um, Lumbridge, Varrock, Falador, and then this side of the map, um, until obviously I get my magic up. Right now I haven't done anything for it. That's, uh, that's on the to-do list though, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of that real soon. But, I love this very much. I ended up getting a, uh, an odd one out quiz right as soon as I finished uh, teleporting to the monastery. I, what do you, what do you, what do you do in this situation? Money is always a good thing to get, but the mystery box could have some good loot. I, uh, I don't know. I, I'm gonna go for the mystery box. I can I can always make more money later. Um, hey, hey, that'll that'll come in handy. That's better than the uh, Iron Man armor that we have. So, um, you know what? Worth it. Worth it. Seeing as we got the the Ardoin cloak, I figured uh, let's throw a party. And what better party than to complete a monk's friend quest while I'm down here? Get a couple of law runes, uh, get some woodcutting XP, have a big old party, hell yeah, and then, uh, and then move on to the next task. So, we come to a bit of an issue here. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I have this antique lamp in my inventory. But, the, the thing about this antique lamp is that I can only use it on a skill that's above 30. You notice... None of my skills are above 30. Uh, in fact, the closest thing is my thieving that I just got up just to get this cloak in the first place, and um, coincidentally, the antique lamp, too. So, I really need to figure out what, what skill do I need to get up 
in order to use this lamp effectively. Um, obviously, thieving is an option for me, but realistically, I want to give experience to the skills that are going to really benefit me long term. Um, and since I have 10 agility, I'm thinking that I might head on down to the Drainer Village rooftop course and train some agility. Um, it's going to do three things for me. Number one, it's going to get me a higher agility level, of course. Number two, it'll let me use that lamp on it. Um, and then number three, it'll actually get me marks of grace so I can get the graceful set and over the long term start to run more efficiently whenever I'm doing things like skilling or questing on uh, non-combat quests. So I'm going to head over to Draenor Village. I'm going to run that rooftop for a while and we'll see how far we can get. As we step off this box, there is level 15 agility. And now we have gotten 20 agility. It uh, it gives us the ability to go to the all carried um, agility course, but I'm going to stay in Draenor. It's got, uh, it's got better marks of grace drops. Get that mark of grace, hop off this bad boy, and then we are at level 25 agility. Five to go. With this last box jump, we have gotten level 30 agility. Only took me a couple hours, not that bad. Um, we do get the Varrock agility course, I believe. Yep, there it is. And then, best of all, we get to use the antique lamp, finally, on our agility skill. So let's take that, confirm it, and boom, 2,500 agility experience. Uh, only got us one level. That's fine. We've, uh, we're have we close to another one, so that's always good. And then, finally, we get to move on with our lives, figure out the next steps. Okay. This has been a fairly productive episode. I think we got a good amount done. We definitely got uh, a real upgrade in the Ardoin Cloak 1 that will let us teleport across the map without having to either run through uh, White Wolf Mountain or pay 1,200 GP every time we want to take a boat from Port Serum. So that's a great start for us. Next episode, I think what I want to do is really get some more quests done that will allow us to get some more um, fun skills taken care of, i.e., range. I really want to complete Death to the Dorgashan, so that way we can get the Bone Crossbow and really try to get that range level up affordably. Obviously, I don't make a ton of money right now, but we're going to really work on that next episode. So, that is our checklist for the day. Get the quests completed for the Lost Tribe, Complete Lost Tribe, Death to the Dorgashan, and then let's get our range up so that we can actually use that Bone Crossbow. 